So these are the braces for the bench. They got a little notch cut in them. Just, I don't know why, but I just thought that would be better because then it'll notch into it. It'll give it kind of, as this comes underneath here, it'll rest into that notch so that it's fully supported underneath here. And then that screwed into the stud of the wall. So all the weight here pushes back into the well and I like that you can race. I like that the floor is open. I don't like anything on the floor. Yeah. Because then you can clean the floor and have a clean floor. Yep. So that way it comes back to there, it doesn't have anything on the floor. It's easy to open, right? To right. mop and clean. And then with that that notch any pressure actually sit, seats deeper into it and forces down into the stud. So it just holds it, it even more stronger than just relying on the screws. Cool. How big is this room? Uh, just about six by nine. And then it's just about seven feet at the back wall here and like nine feet at the front wall. So on the top of this wall, the top of the ceiling and the top of the other wall. And it's just because I need to dig out my table saw and rip them to fit the space, so. And the table saw is it's under 15, under, snow for under 15 inches of snow. So. You need a garage. You deserve a garage. I haven't, we haven't had a garage for you for over 10 years. Yeah. Sauna felt like a bigger priority. <laughs> so the screws you're gonna use, are they gonna rust? No, their deck screws are epoxy coated. Oh, okay, that's a good deck idea. Screws, yeah. This is right where my stud lines up, right here. So, so these two screws down here are gonna go into the stud. Now I've seen you use wood glue before. Yep. Are you not using it because it's a hot, hot space and? No. Um, in this situation, the wood glue doesn't work very well because we're talking about end grains getting glued to side grains. Oh, okay. And wood glue works great side glue to side or side grain to side grain, but it doesn't hold into end grain very well at all. And then there's enough heat expansion and contraction. There's good glues that'll handle it, but it's just not. It's probably just not necessary, you know. Yeah. It's, <clears throat> it wouldn't. Uh, it wouldn't glue like this brace to this brace because of the end grain to wood to side grain mm -hmm. just wouldn't have any real advantage. Now, if we were going to glue something, the planks that we're going to put on top as the as the seat planks. Those will sit across here like this, so the grains will go this direction. Mm -hmm. And those could be glued down if we wanted to, because you've got side grain to side grain. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather have them not glued down and allow them to expand and contract freely with a little bit of push and pull on the nail versus trying to, you know, because we're talking about so much heat and temperature and humidity and all those changes. Yeah makes a difference for wood so if I just 
I'll just put them down and nail them with some galvanized nails and we'll be in good shape. Yeah, I like the idea of the seats not being able to have any floor legs. Like I like the way you always do that. You've done it, like you've always done our pantries like that. I just love it. Nothing worse than having something clear down here and you just can't get under it to get it clean. Yeah. It's just a, I don't know, it just bugs me. I've hated it in shops that I've run and just never liked. It's nice when you can get all the way access to the wall. So we had a leg over here sitting on the ground that's a collection point from moisture to collect between the wood and the concrete. Yeah. It'll just rust out. It'll just rot. That right. board will just rot at the bottom and then it'll be no good as a brace because now it'll have a gap. Then everything starts sagging and going to hell anyway. So we pull it back here. The moisture stays off of it and keeps its integrity. Okay, let's see how the sturdy the benches are. Not too bad for not even touching the floor. Very good. Pretty good. Which one is this one? This is a quarter inch round over. This is the quarter inch? And then what about this one? It's all the same. Oh, this it is, is a quarter, quarter inch. inch. Okay. It's a quarter inch round over. I actually like that because it's I like the, the more round than better. Okay. Don't you think? Yeah, it's So what tool gives you the bevel edge? A router. A router? Yeah. Oh. The one I'm using is just a trim router, so it's small, handheld, lightweight. Are you gonna have them close or? Yeah, close. Just drop my spacer. <laughs> drop your spacer. down and five more to go uh, three, three more here on this side oh okay and then down that side cool when you put a shelf like that now you create cold pockets underneath mm, got it and so this way the air is going to move through just fine and moisture is not going to trap anywhere it's going to have plenty of room to run and drip and stay good so well just like that, a bench has been made. We're gonna fire this thing up tonight? Yep. Sweet. Yeah, it's really nice. I like that your feet hang off the floor. That was one of the things that... <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it looks good. We gotta get a legitimate <coughs> bucket and ladle situation. And then we're gonna get trim put up, the rest of the boards, and bam, this, this place is finished, right? Yeah, pretty close. Almost there. I really like that. How many pounds of rocks is in there? 200, 200, 200 pounds? Yeah. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be that many. Yeah. It's like, I think there were 20 pound boxes and they gave us 10, I think. <clears throat> Holy cow. We honestly got this sauna done just in time before the weather turned really bad because we've had some low below zero temperatures. It's a quarter inch round over. Man. Half inch gaps. Half inch gaps. That's beautiful, honey. And then he even did the edges here. That's incredible. Still though. 